Last updated December 2, 2017, 12.41 p.m. EST. President Trump spoke publicly Saturday morning for the first time since his former National Security Advisor Michael Flynn pleaded guilty to lying to the FBI on Friday, saying he had to fire Flynn because he lied to Vice President Mike Pence and the FBI. Flynn misled Pence about his contact with then Russian Ambassador Sergei Kislyak, and later, lied to the FBI about that contact in a January 24 interview, as he pleaded guilty in federal court on Friday. But the president's tweet Saturday president raises the question of whether he was aware Flynn lied to the FBI before firing him on February 13. Mr. Trump insisted, there was nothing to hide. Former FBI director James Comey has said that the president asked him to drop the investigation into Flynn the day after Flynn was ousted. On February 14, I had to fire General Flynn because he lied to the vice president and the FBI. He has pled guilty to those lies. It is a shame because his actions during the transition were lawful. There was nothing to hide. Donald J. Trump, at Real Donald Trump, December 2, 2017. On Saturday, Mr. Trump, asked whether the Flynn guilty plea worried him Saturday morning, emphasized there was no collusion. What has been shown is no collusion, no collusion, Mr. Trump said, responding to a reporter's question about whether the Flynn plea worries him before pivoting to a major tax bill the Senate passed just before 2 a.m. Saturday. There's been absolutely no collusion, so we're very happy. And frankly last night was one of the big nights. We'll see what happens, added the president, who is on his way to New York for a series of fundraisers. But prosecutors in Flynn's case indicated that other high-level Trump associates were at least aware of Flynn's contacts with the Russian ambassador Sergei Kislyak. CBS Good News chief White House correspondent Major Garrett reports sources with knowledge of the situation say top White House aide Jared Gushner was the very senior official who spoke with Flynn on December 22 of last year about a pending UN Security Council debate vote on Israeli settlements. The sources with knowledge of the situation also told CBS News that KT McFarland was the senior official on the presidential transition team, PTT, who spoke to Flynn and Mar-a-Lago on December 29 about Russian sanctions and possible Russian retaliation. These contacts are potentially meaningful if they can be linked to behavior that is criminal or conspiratorial. But no evidence has yet surfaced to indicate either criminality or a conspiracy. A document filed with the court by the special counsel says that Flynn did willfully and knowingly make materially false, fictitious and fraudulent statements and representations to the FBI regarding his interaction with then Russian envoy Sergei Kislyak. In early December, after the election, he gushioner met with Kislyak at Trump Tower. On December 29th, Flynn called Kislyak five times, and the two spoke about sanctions against Russia that had just been imposed by President Obama in response to Russia's meddling in the 2016 U.S. elections. According to court documents released Friday, a very senior member of the Trump transition team, Kushner, directed Flynn to contact Russia and officials from other foreign governments in December 2016 to determine where they stood on an Israeli settlement UN resolution. On or about December 22, 2016, a very senior member of the presidential transition team directed Flynn to contact officials from foreign governments, including Russia, to learn where each government stood on the resolution and to influence those governments to delay the vote or defeat the resolution. The statement of offense against Flynn reads that the White House has distanced itself from Flynn, who Mr. Trump once called a very good man. Ty Cobb a White House lawyer, said in a statement that Flynn is a former Obama administration official. Today, Michael Flynn, a former national security advisor at the White House for 25 days during the Trump administration, and a former Obama administration official, entered a guilty plea to a single count of making a false statement to the FBI, Cobb said in a statement. The false statements involved mirror the false statements to White House officials which resulted in his resignation in February of this year. Nothing about the guilty plea or the charge implicates anyone other than Mr. Flynn, Cobb said.
The conclusion of this phase of the special counsel's work demonstrates again that the special counsel is moving with all deliberate speed and clears the way for a prompt and reasonable conclusion. CBS News Catherine Watson contributed to this report. Thank you.